Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about deer belly hair and really bright colored deer hair. I'm going to go over just some of the things about it that makes it what it is and why we use that stuff. We just announced on the Kill the Coronavirus contest that the first category is uh, warm water, top water. And so we're going to get a ton of superstar tires throwing down some really cool stuff. This is going to be such a blast one because there's going to be a lot of hair spinning in this because that's how you make really good top water. And so, but one of the questions I get a lot is, you know, I want a, I want a piece of hair, but I want it to be really bright. And, and people don't understand that there's a, there's a way to get bright hair and not necessarily, you can't have it with all the hair. So one of the most common questions I get is, how come I can't get a piece of a bright hair that's this big? And the basic reason is that there isn't that much of it. When you look at a deer, how we get this, you know, by the deer hair is harvested deer. It's not, it's by hunters and you go to the tanneries and you get or to the processors and you get it and have it tanned and they, they clean it and dye it and do all that stuff. And for, uh, so there's, there's not like we grow it just for you to tie with. I mean, we buy it from the, you know, people that do it for us. And so to get this stuff, you have to understand that you've got a whole body of the deer that is, gray brown and there's this little tiny belly patch down here or maybe a rump patch or a little brisket patch that they may only be you know a patch might be that big on a rump and the belly patch may be that long and that wide and the, you know some of it's not even usable it's just the stuff by the flank and so you have a limited amount of hair that they have to work with to get you these colors and the bright hair has to be really off of the belly. So what I'm talking about is when you're trying to get these super clean breaks, right? You got this swimmy jimmy and this super bright hair here. And then you got the super bright white hair. Really clean breaks. So you get that snap, right? Pooh, here's a color contrast. Or here's, this is a, a slug of Chad Johnson's fly. And you've got this beautiful bright yellow, olive, and then yellow again. Really cool accent stripe, right? That's what it is. You have to have the right hair to get that accent stripe. And I mean, if you're working with, I grabbed this dark one too. If you're going on these muted colors, it's not as big a deal. You could work with the regular hair, spinning hair, and get this. This is olive over brown over olive. It's a pretty muted, so you're not really looking for that just popping, you know, really bright color change. And so the way you get that hair is you buy belly hair. And I just want you to see a few things about it. It's not a you know, it's not that, that deep. And so for the most part, if you want to see a color, I'm going to show you just the difference between over white and over natural. And it's just this simple. Here's a piece of floor. These are, by the way, I'm going to show you three of them. This is the other one, the one I picked up there. So you take, this is all the same 72 fluorescent chartreuse. So here's fluorescent chartreuse on my left, your right. And there's over natural. It's just that simple. This is going to scream at you. This is going to pop, right? This is just kind of muted. It's identical color, and this is the same thing over natural, and there's just more tip hair, and so it's even darker yet. And so when you're looking for these super bright colors, you go dyed over natural. You'll frequently see this. On a rare occasion, you'll see a dyed, or I mean a tanned piece of this, almost, which tanned simply means it's made leather, right? Most of your belly hair, I don't know why they cut it off first and do it, but it's how almost all belly hair you'll ever see is right here. It's on what's called rawhide. And so you cut this out, you cut this patch out, you scrape it, they salt it. Salting sets the hair follicle into the skin so it doesn't fall out, and then they dye it. But you'll see, because there's very little hair to work with, because you don't have that whole body, you just have that little belly piece, they, they come in small pieces. Two by three is your normal piece of hair. And you will also frequently see double pieces in there. They're simply trying to get you a piece of two by three. And they're trying to render as much as they can off of that hair. And so if, if you want colors that really truly pop, like if you take this orange right here, and you want that color, if you don't buy deer belly hair, you're going to get this kind of muted color and you're not going to get that really clean line. One more thing about this stuff, because I, I missed that when I was talking about the rawhide. It frequently, you're going to see, you can see this one's pretty flat. It's got this little bend right here. 
This one's got it folded over on itself. When that happens, you'll get this cowlick on the top. It's still workable hair, you can still work around it, but because it's rawhide, it doesn't flex like leather, it's, it's gonna stay that way. And so if you don't, you know, if you call us or if, you know, if you've got a relationship with a shop, if you call and tell us, we'll give you the best piece, you know, we can hand pick it. Best thing for you is to go in and see if you can see it. If you can't, ask the shop, whoever you're dealing with. Like I said, we always do it with everybody. Or what, even if you don't ask, we'll ask you what you're doing if, uh, if you do it so we don't get you the wrong hair. But for the most part, as belly hair goes, it's pretty consistent. It may have some inconsistencies in it. It's like that little piece there. But for the most part, deer belly hair is really good spinning hair. It's almost always, there's going to be some in every piece that's really good. If you're really worried about it, you know, you, you don't have the opportunity to tell, you know, tell somebody what you want, buy two at a time. I know that sounds like a cheesy sales pitch, but if you were just, if you, you don't get that much. And if you had a piece that was compromised right there, I don't know. That's how I used to do it before I had, you know, when I couldn't get the stuff, but, uh, when I was very young. But anyway, that's deer belly hair. If you're looking for this stuff that really sings, go for that. Don't buy this stuff that's over natural. And you'll get more with this, but you won't get the color you're looking for. Uh, that's about all there is to it. It's really pretty simple. Hope you liked it. Hope it helped you out.